Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about some uh, back edge cuts that I typically use with the sword and shield. Uh, I did a video earlier today uh, where I talked about this in detail. But in this video I want to talk about the combinations that I commonly use. Okay, so just a, a quick refresher. Um, as you hold the sword here and you come across, at some point the sword wants to roll over on its back edge, right? So if you, as you hold it here, right, so as I'm here, as I come down, it wants to roll over at this point. If I'm here, it wants to roll over at this point. If I'm leading with this foot, it wants to roll over at that point. Um, so as you hold your arm here, even without so that, as you come across, at some point your arm wants to turn over, okay? So at the point that your arm wants to turn over is the point at which we're going to turn the blade over. Um, and this is very useful for two purposes. Number one, it allows us to get around things. It allows us to get around corners, right? So I have a corner here. If I throw a shot right there, you can see how it's gonna, my sword is gonna hit that edge. Well, if I turn it over on its back edge, you can see how, you know, it can get around that corner and hit the target. Same thing here. There it hits, you know, there it goes around and it hits something, right? So you can see how it goes around, whereas over there, it would just hit the edge. So turning the sword over uh, allows us, you know, a little deeper, a little bit more reach, right? We're able to get around things. The other thing that using the back edge does is it allows us, it basically it gives us two additional target areas. So normally we think of, when we think of fighting, we think of four quadrants, okay? One, two, three, four, right? Those are the four quadrants that we typically think of. Well, this gives us five and six, okay? Uh, it gives us two additional uh, target areas, five and six back here. And even if you're fighting somebody that's not using uh, a double-edged sword, right? Let's say you're fighting somebody that has a saber or has a falchion or has a back sword. Um, if you have a double-edged sword and you're attacking those, you know, you know, area five and six back here, they have to block it, okay? So just because they don't use back edge cuts, uh, the second you, st you start using back edge cuts, they have to block it, uh, you know, because even with a blunt sword, if, you, if, you, if I just take a steel rod and throw this really hard to the back of somebody's head and all they're wearing is a male quoi for like a two pound nasal hem, helm, they, they're gonna feel that, okay? Uh, so, so they, you know, even with a, with a blunt sword, they have to block that, okay? So it forces them to block these areas back there. It, it forces a reaction out of them. Uh, let me get a shield. Okay, so um, as I'm facing off, the most common combinations that I will use is I will typically attack, uh, you know, high left side. Okay, so you can even call this a left side. Um, high middle how or left sides work out by me attacking there that's going to force that corner to shoot over to that side over there right so if somebody's attacking up here right the, basically i'm going to turn into the sword a little bit you know uh to, to take that block especially if my sword's busy if i'm in the middle of attacking let's say the leg and they're throwing up here i gotta bring that i gotta bring the shield up to block it so by attacking that quadrant up there, it's going to force their defense over that way. So from there, I will typically throw back there. Okay, so this is probably the most common uh, use of the back edge cut for me. Uh, you know, I'll attack that side, follow it up with an attack either to, the, to behind the head on that side or to the leg, right? Same thing. I'll attack uh, high left side Zwerzow with an attack to the leg. I'll usually step in as I do it, uh, but I don't necessarily have to, depending on what type of shield they have, you know, or uh, how they're holding it. A lot of times I can just get to it from there, but definitely if I step in, that's going to definitely give me a little extra reach. Now, the other thing I can do is I can go in the opposite direction too. Uh, if I attack here, I can also step back and attack, do a back edge attack like that, okay? So this is another, right? By the time I caught, I caught the tip. So from there, step in, boom, catch it right in, coming in right underneath there, um, into their, into their hip leg area over there. Um, so that's that's another very uh, common uh, way I will use the back edge. Okay? Um, now the uh, another way that I've been using it a lot recently is um, what I'll do is I will fake 
an attack to this side. So this is normally like a high horizontal attack, right? So this is like a high right side middle how or high right side Zwerchow. But instead of actually extending my arm, okay, I'll actually come up, bring my arm up. Okay, that's the fake. From there, cut to the leg over here. Okay, maybe they'll block that, maybe they won't. I'm going to pull through to a tail guard, and then from there, throw the back edge cut. Okay, um, so that's, that's, a, that's a way I've been doing this recently. So I'll fake up, cut leg on that side, pull through, cut to the head over there okay um so that's another common combination that i've been using uh that's given me a lot of success um and basically so it's a, it's a three shot combo okay because the fake the fake counts as a shot so i'm faking up cutting there and then from there throwing the shot now one of the things that you guys will have probably noticed is when i throw that back edge cut i will usually bring my arm a little further back okay because normally I fight kind of like from an A-frame, right? Because that's part of my defense. Um, but when I want to throw that back edge cut because I'm reaching a little further back, I will typically, you know, from there, bring the sword further back and launch that attack. Um, if the person sees you bring your arm back here, they know that you're going to be reaching back there or back there, okay? So they're going to start, they're going to, start to anticipate that. Well, now we can turn that uh, into a feint, okay? Because what's going to happen is I'm going to throw that same left side Zwerza, right? Come back like I'm throwing that deep back edge cut and then double up to that side, right? So instead of doing this, that, right? I'm doing this, faking the, and then coming back to the same side. So I'm doubling up on the same side and I'm using the fact that most people, when you, when you bring your arm back here, are expecting something that's going to go deep. Um, instead of going deep, I'm coming back to that same side. Uh, and of course, I could also come over here. So I can go there, throw back over here, and then come back over there. Uh, you know, so you know, it can work either way, okay? So, um, so I hope you guys found this uh, interesting. Uh, that's the way that I have been using uh, back edge com combinations uh, uh, recently in my recent fighting. Um, so if you've got any comments, put them in the comment section. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys soon.